this is uh, Sheboygan Marsh, and we're interested in the cattail invasion that's been going on for over 50 years here. It's a hybrid between a native cattail and a European cattail. And when these two species breed together, they cross, they create a hybrid cattail that's particularly invasive and problematic. In the last few decades, its spread has become uh, very rapid and many Great Lakes coastal marshes, uh, there's been documented declines in biodiversity and altered uh, chemistry associated with its invasion. And biodiversity supports all the ecological function that is important for humanity. And so it's a real management concern here in Sheboygan Marsh, but also throughout uh, Michigan and the Great Lakes states. After years of looking at the, the detrimental ecological impacts of this invasive cattail species, we started moving our research towards restoration approaches. And so what we're doing is we are actually uh, harvesting approximately 35 acres of, of this invasive cattail and removing all of the biomass from, from the wetland. This is the first known uh, example of large-scale harvesting of uh, emergent wetland invasive plants in the, in the Great Lakes region. Nutrient pollution is largely responsible for the presence of this invasive cattail and many other invasive wetland plants. And so by harvesting and removing some of those nutrients, we may be able to actually change the background nutrient condition, which theoretically could uh, result in a long-term sustained diverse wetland community. These diverse systems are really of interest from a fundamental scientific point of view. But what's really cool about this is we're taking our cutting edge scientific research and applying it to questions that are important to stakeholders all over Michigan and the U.S. So when residents of Sheboygan or nearby communities say, what's going on at the biostation? We can say, well, look, um, we're not inward looking, we're outward looking. We're trying to understand the world that we all live in to your benefits.